Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the service host delivery optimization is experiencing high network, CPU, or disk usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in update. Best match, come back with check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to go and select advanced options. And then where it says download updates over metered connections, turn that off. And then scroll down again underneath delivery optimization, bandwidth limits for updates, downloads, and other devices. Where it says allow downloads from other PCs, go ahead and toggle that to the off position. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu again. Type in store. Best match, you come back with Microsoft Store. Go ahead and open that up. Now in the Microsoft Store, go ahead and select the little profile icon near the top search bar. Just left click on it. And select app settings. Where it says app updates, update apps automatically. Toggle that to the off position. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And if you have Windows 11 or Windows 10 Professional or higher, so Educational Enterprise Server Editions, for example, you would go ahead and open up the search menu and type in Group Policy. Best match to come back up, Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. Let me just make this a little bit wider here. Underneath Computer Configuration, double-click on the Administrative Templates folder. Do the same thing for the Windows Components folder. And then there should be a folder here that says Delivery Optimization. On the right side, locate something that says Download Mode. Go ahead and double click on that. And you want to set this to Enabled. And in the drop down here, click inside of it. And you want to select Simple, parentheses 99. And then once you've done that, go ahead and select Apply and OK. So once you're done with that, go ahead and minimize the Windows Components folder. And now underneath Network, go ahead and double click on that one. And there should be a Background Intelligent Transfer Service folder. On the right side, locate something that says Limit the Maximum Network Bandwidth for BITS Background Transfers. Double click on that. And you want to set this to Enabled. And make sure underneath Limit Background Transfer Rate, set to 10, which is the default here, which we have it set to. And then we're going to go ahead and select apply and okay and now that we're done with that go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, go back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that is done here, go ahead and close out and then restart your device. And there you go, guys. So hopefully that was able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. Thubo was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.